Namaskar. Before we proceed with tonight's performance, I ask you for your understanding and cooperation that no unauthorized video recording and flash photography of tonight's event is permitted in consideration of the artists. Ensuring that your mobile phones are switched off so that you and the artists may have an uninterrupted journey through tonight's performance. And parents with young children, please keep them by your side at all times. Swami Sri Dharananda, friends of the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of Melbourne and the Kalamandir School of Indian Dances, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that we welcome you to this double celebration performance. We celebrate the great Saint Ramakrishna and his order as well as Jyoti Das as an Odyssey dancer in the tradition of the late Srimati Sanjukta Panigrahi. This performance, Shiva Shakti Bandhana, dedicates the dance to the Ramakrishna order and is part of Parampara, the Odyssey festival. So why Parampara? A literal meaning, proceeding from one to another. And for those of you who attended Tharani Ratnakumar's Mancha Prabesh last week, may see tonight's performance as purely that, one event to another. But Parampara is much deeper than that. It refers to the spiritual relationship between Guru and Sishya, the student. It is a traditional system whereby knowledge is passed down undiluted through successive generations. The great Padma Vibhushan Kelucharan Mahapatra to Srimadhi Sanjukta Panigrahi, she to Jyoti Das, and as you all saw last week from Jyoti to Tharani Ratnakumar. And as such, tonight's performance by Jyoti and her students is in memory of Guru Sanjukta Panigrahi in humility and respect of the Parampara tradition. Most of this audience are no strangers to Odyssey. For those of you un uninitiated in the tradition of Odyssey, it is one of the classical dances of India, perhaps even the oldest. It comes from the state of Orissa, which nestles along the Bay of Bengal in the northeast of India. It is truly holy land. When you think that the capital city of Orissa is Bhuvaneshwar, Lord Shiva, as the Lord of the Earth, you can understand what I mean. Orissa has temples crowded with incredibly beautiful sculptures of dancing forms and embracing couples in love. The Raj Rani, the Mukteshwar, the Sum Temple at Konarak all express a celebration of spiritual devotion. From their reddish sandstone forms, these figures are frozen in poses that today form the dance patterns of Odyssey. They gently smile at us in the triple bend, the Tribangi, which you will see as the fundamental pose of Odyssey. They are the reference books of this dance form you will see tonight. From these forms that adorn the houses of the gods, the great gurus of dance and the devadasis, who were girls dedicated to serve as dancers for the gods in temples, distilled an art form that lives today as Odyssey. It was performed in the temples by the devadasis and for the common people at festivals by the gotipurs, the young boys who dressed as girls. Of the gods of Hinduism, Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu in the forms of Jagannath, as well as Krishna, dominate the themes of Odyssey. You see on this stage, across on that side, or you will see later, a strange figure with round eyes and stumps for arms. That is Lord Jagannath, who resides in his temple at Puri. He is normally accompanied by his sister, Subhadra, and his brother, Balabhadra. But today he sits alone, presiding over this evening's performance. And below him rests the Saint Ramakrishna, his wife, Mother Sharada, and his most famous disciple, Swami Vivekananda. They too look upon this evening's recital. The dancer, Jyoti Das, comes from a line of great dancers. Guru Padma Vibhushan Kelucharan's best known student was the late Sanjukta Panigrahi. And Jyoti is her direct disciple. Art 
is given to us by the divine to serve mankind. Jyoti Das has always used her art to raise funds for the good of others. In that, she lives the ideals of the divine gift of art. And we are fortunate that Mr. and Mrs. Das and Jyoti continue this selfless service. Tonight, she dances for Saint Ramakrishna and his noble order. Ladies and gentlemen, Shiva Shakti Bandana. offering opens with a shloka to goddess Saraswati, followed by the Mangala Charan, where the dancers invoke the blessings of Lord Jagannath for an auspicious beginning. Then the dancer offers salutations to Mother Earth, the Guru, the accompanists, and finally to you, the audience. Having thus created the sacred space for the performance, she follows this with a homage to Lord Shiva, deity of Bhuvaneshwar, and asks that he grant to the devotee that inner wisdom to guide her on the path to the divine. Mangala Charan, auspicious song.
Oh, my God. 